It is believed that fermented drinks were one of the earliest results of cereal agriculture, which began around 12,000 years ago. Beer has a long and mysterious history. It is thought to have emerged around 12,000 years ago alongside the development of grain agriculture. While it's difficult to pinpoint exactly where and when beer originated, it seems that the world's first fermented beverages likely began during this period. One of the earliest known alcoholic beverages may have been brewed nearly 7,000 years ago in Jiahu, China. Ancient pottery discovered there indicates that it was a mead-like drink composed of rice, honey, and fruit. It is believed that beer was first brewed in the Middle East around 5,000 years ago. The Sumerians of ancient Mesopotamia have left evidence of beer production having occurred during that era. Archaeologists have found artifacts from as early as 3400 BC, still coated with beer residue. The ancient Sumerian civilization included nutrient-rich beer as a major part of their diet. This was likely due to the fact that drinking water from nearby rivers and canals was typically contaminated by animal waste, making these suds a safer choice. Beer drinking was popular during the Babylonian Empire, and it was even mandated by their laws, the Code of Hammurabi. It prescribed a daily beer ration to its citizens. The amount of drink given out to people depended on their social ranking. Laborers were given two liters while priests and administrators received five. Beer was a much-loved drink in ancient Egypt. It was a staple of the diet for many people, from pharaohs to peasants and even kids. You could even get paid with an allowance of beer, it was that popular and considered to be very nutritious. The Middle Ages is when beers began to take on a more modern flavor. This was due to Christian monks and other artisans who used hops in the brewing process. Are you enjoying this video? Then why not take a break and have a beer? And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave us a like. Here are 8 facts about the history of beer you probably didn't know. The history of beer begins at the dawn of civilization. The domestication of cereals growing in the Fertile Crescent played an important role in advancing the growth of civilizations. This enabled people to establish early settlements, ultimately leading to the rise and development of advanced societies. The fermentation process of grains was discovered as a result of this, which brought about a popular byproduct. Through the process of fermentation, water was turned into what is now known as beer. It is believed that this was how the first ever beer was made. Beer might have potentially played a part in driving the agricultural revolution, as the demand for it motivated people to create tools and technologies which were later used to bake bread. Beer was a symbol of friendship. Due to its unique qualities, beer became a symbol of friendship and hospitality. The host's gesture of sharing the same drinking vessel with his guest was a sign of trust and assurance that the drink was both safe and of good quality. Beer was used as a currency. The sedentary lifestyle and the surplus of barley and wheat freed many people to pursue specialized professions such as priests, administrators, and scribes. Ancient Egyptian scribes were primarily responsible for collecting taxes in exchange for grain and goods. They even collected the taxed goods in both their solid and liquid forms, such as bread and beer respectively. Beer was much more than a food item. It was accepted as a type of currency and payment throughout the Mesopotamian region from Sumer to Egypt. It was healthy and divine. Ancient beer was not only an economic and social boon, but also held a divine status in many societies. This reverence partly stemmed from the fact that it formed an essential part of people's diets. Furthermore, historically speaking, beer was seen as a healthier option compared to water. This is because many waterways were contaminated with animal waste, which made them unsafe for human consumption. Fermentation was an important process that allowed beer to retain key nutrients and be rid of harmful bacteria. It's no wonder that beer became so popular and was even used in religious ceremonies, wherein it was associated with the gods. The ancient Egyptians loved beer, but it wasn't popular among the Greeks and Romans. Beer was a significant part of the ancient Egyptian society, with a goddess dedicated specifically to it. Even children were allowed to consume it. Actually, only a few early civilizations enjoyed beer as much as the Egyptians. 
Ancient Egyptians documented the existence of at least 17 varieties of beer, which would have been described in poetic terms such as, the beautiful and good, the heavenly, the joy bringer, the plentiful, and, the fermented. Beer was even used in religious ceremonies. It was given great significance and used as a way to celebrate life and joyous occasions. In contrast to the Egyptians, the ancient Greeks and Romans preferred wine to beer. The ancient Greeks, who preferred to live moderately, believed that beer was a beverage usually consumed by the uncivilized, or barbarians. Similar to other Mediterranean cultures, the Romans held similar views and opinions. However, the Roman Empire introduced beer brewing to its northern borders, which made it easier for colder regions to create their own beverages. This was beneficial to the Roman occupiers, since these areas made it difficult to plant vineyards. In medieval times, beer was a highly popular drink. The Middle Ages brought about a renewed interest in beer, which can be attributed to Christianity and monks who improved the brewing process by including hops. Medieval monasteries, known for their simple living and austerity, were the origin of the first European breweries. This was mainly due to the fasting required by monastic rules that prohibited the consumption of food. Beer, being a nutritious drink, was not subject to the same regulations as some of the other beverages during this time. Monasteries in areas like Bavaria and Bohemia were also well suited for beer brewing due to their climate. Monasteries in the medieval era served as hubs for education and knowledge. The monks used this opportunity to further develop their brewing techniques by experimenting with various ingredients. One of their discoveries was the use of hops which not only gave flavor to the beer but also preserved it for a longer period. Bavaria set a golden standard for beer production to ensure the preservation of traditional brewing methods and quality. Brewing beer has been a practice for centuries, involving the boiling of malted barley with water and allowing it to ferment, usually with an added yeast to hasten the process. After that, herbs are often used as flavorings to give the beverage its taste. The incorporation of hops into brewing beer was a major breakthrough in preventing spoilage. However, the complexity of the process still made it difficult to make good quality beer from a variety of recipes. Prior to the 16th century, beer production was not regulated and lacked consistency. This changed in 1516 when Wilhelm IV, the Duke of Bavaria, implemented the Reinheitsgebot which is also known as the Beer Purity Law. The Reinheitsgebot Law of 1516 was mainly focused on ensuring that beer was made only with water, hops, and barley. Interestingly, Yeast wasn't included in the list as its role in fermentation wasn't discovered until 1857 when Louis Pasteur discovered it. The Reinheitsgebot, a German beer purity law, was in effect from 1516 until 1987. While brewers in Germany, Holland and Belgium followed the law strictly, French brewers added various herbs, spices, and fruits to their beer to enhance flavor. The War on Beer. The History of Beer in Modern Times. Beer had an especially high popularity during the medieval and early modern period, with breweries and pubs being set up all around Europe. However, it still faced opposition in its endeavor to gain global domination. In the 18th century, Europe made an effort to move away from using alcohol and instead shifted their focus to coffee and tea. This was during the period of Enlightenment. Notwithstanding its success, beer continued to become more and more popular. In 1765, the steam engine revolutionized things and jumpstarted the Industrial Revolution. This also allowed for mass production of beer. A pivotal development in beer making was the introduction of the thermometer and hydrometer, which significantly improved efficiency. The Prohibition era in the United States during the 1920s had a detrimental effect on the beer industry. This event caused a significant blow to the history of brewing beer. In spite of the fact that both George Washington and Thomas Jefferson had associations with alcohol, the United States outlawed it during the Prohibition. This move made drinking and producing beer or other spirits illegal across the nation. The Prohibition period of 1933 had one surprising impact. It familiarized people with lower quality, less flavorful beer. In the last couple of years, craft beer has grown immensely in popularity. It is made in both small private breweries and larger corporations, providing customers with an unprecedented variety of styles. Craft brewers have taken it upon themselves to bring traditional beer recipes back to life. Recently, they recreated a beer according to a recipe that was taken from an ancient Sumerian poem called the Ninkasi poem, completing an age-old cycle of beer's history. 